the, you ever see it? It's the original gimbal. You put the GoPro on the chicken's head and they run around with it and it's perfectly level. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Making It. Today we got a special guest, like signature edition rock box by Gosney. It's a pizza oven, it's an all purpose oven, and today we're gonna be cooking something more than pizza. I'm making squid with some tomatoes from the garden, some herbs, and that should be a blast. Show you how to use it, some of my favorite ways to use it in these nice summer and fall beautiful months. Right, let's bring it over to the shrine, bud. The classic, the Lord of Death. We'll get him a little sunlight, he's looking a little pale. We got some herbs, all right, perilla, you know, that's one of my favorites. If you don't, you do now. And then we got lemon verbena. It smells like fruity pebbles, like the bottom of a bag of fruity pebbles, oddly. Purple basil with some flowers, and we got some just regular green basil, some nice basil there. We got some sage, and then we have sun gold tomatoes. We're gonna go pick some more, but they're gorgeous and delicious. And we're gonna blister those up with some squid, which we have here, some nice, North Atlantic squid from Rhode Island. I'll show you how to clean that up. We'll cut that up. Looks like shit. <laughs> yeah, it does not look appetizing. No, dude, it looks like fucking fluke bait. <laughs> and then we have some garlic from the garden, my first year's harvest, medicinal grade. It's awesome. If you can, grow your own garlic always. And then my first ever onions, all right? I've learned a lot. They're small. That's because I had them under the dirt all the way. It turns out that's how you get small onions. But they're delicious and pungent and sweet and wonderful. Some non-ingredient uh, guests, we have a fossilized clamshell. And then look, some dried bolites that I found dropping my kid off at camp and then I dried them in my truck on the dashboard. They were about that big. <laughs> Sucked right down to there. A really cool piece of driftwood. Look at that, it's light, it's perfect. It's a piece of art. Mother Nature is my favorite artist. I've been saying it for years. And then we have this really cool hat that my wife Peggy made for one of my kids. I know it looks a little funny and a little weird, right? It's like a contest for this Lake Regatta. Shout out to Lake Wallkill, New Jersey. It's a hat parade and the kids are gonna be walking around. That one's um, fungus themed. So that's where, we're, that's where we're at. What am I missing? Olive oil, can't beat it, gotta have it. We got a little salt with the three dot Kenji Leone. Salt box, salt cellar, yeah. Oh, and a little butter, come on. Dual fats, right? If you learn anything from me, maybe it's that you should use dual fats sometimes. Great tip, Brad. Let's just jump right into it. So I went and cleaned up some squid ahead of time just because it takes a little while and it's not really the nicest thing to show, I guess. Uh, but we're gonna show you one anyway in case you don't know how to do it. And it's, it's actually rather easy, but you, there are some things you need to remove. Uh, tubes and tentacle, right? Right below the eyes here. You cut that and the tentacles off, okay? And then inside there's a beak because the way these things eat is they use these tentacles to grab fish, shrimp or whatever, and there's a little beak in here. It literally looks like a little bird beak. And you want to get that out and you can just push on it like that and pull, cut it off with your knife. And then you got a beautiful tentacle. One of my favorite parts. It's like a little mini octopus. They're delicious. The whole thing's edible and it's just great. And here's that little beak I was telling you about. That you don't want to eat. The big ones even get bigger. It's pretty wild. Look at that thing. Gnarly. So yeah, that's what that's doing. And then you gotta rip out the guts, okay? And there's a couple ways to do it. And inside, they don't have bones, but they have this like plastic, it's not plastic, this thing right here. I think it's called their pen. It looks like an ink pen or something. But it literally looks like it's made out of plastic if you found it. But it is 100% from the squid and it is its skeletal structure, or skeletal structure. Pretty wild, right? We'll rinse that off. We'll add that to the ingredient shrine. And then the insides, I kind of squeeze out a little bit and it takes the skin off. You see what we did there? Guts come out, skin comes off. You don't have to take that purple skin off, but I like to. Sometimes you got to get under it a little bit and then it just kind of peels right off. And you save a lot of money. You spend $8 to get it cleaned, which you know, it's fine, $8 a pound but it's like $3 a pound if you, get it, if you get it dirty, as they call it. If you got the time and it don't gross you out, save a little money and uh, you know, I like it. Beautiful, and you have more options. Sometimes you stuff these, I've done that, or you can grill them whole. Today we're gonna slice them up into little pieces like that. We'll take the rest of our squid that we cleaned up already 
and we'll just cut it into the same little rings, the classic calamari rings. And there's kind of two rules of thumb, two rules of thought when it comes to, to cooking squid in my experience and opinion. And it's hot and fast, which we're gonna do today, or a low and slow, like a braise. Uh, a recipe I have in my book and one of my favorite squid recipes is squid prepared, cut up just like this, and then just braise it low and slow in, in like a pot, in like a tomato sauce. Garlic, tomato, a little bait, it's unbelievable, it's perfect. Today we're gonna do something, a little bit of a riff on that. No sauce, some tomato, some herbs, some garlic and onions from the garden, and we're doing all right. Easy, comes together real quick. And you know what's great about the rock box is that it is, it's more than a pizza oven. You know, it's portable and it can get real hot. You know, you can go from 300 degrees, which isn't real hot, 400 degrees, up to seven, 800 degrees, 900 degrees, into more of that pizza world that really, again, a little too hot for our preparation, but I like having that range, that reach of different temperatures. And it's portable, man, you can bring the thing anywhere. Kinda can't beat it. All right, so let's go pick some tomatoes. We're gonna need a little bit more than this. And one thing I forgot to include in the ingredient shrine is some celery leaves. Oh, I love it more than parsley. Just come on, I'll show you. All right, welcome to Leone and Sons Family Garden. All right, come on in. Come on in, take your shoes off. boy. So we'll start off with the tomatoes by Little Sun Gold. All right, look, come on right in here in the jungle. Watch where you step, pal. Check these babies out. Oh yeah, you gotta get in here. Sun Golds, man, and you can't beat it. Sweet as candy. It's gonna go really nice with our herbs. It's gonna go great with the, oh, here's some nice little nuggets. I don't know what they're called, I forget. We gotta start writing things down. But boy, are they pretty, huh? Sweet as candy. You can't beat this stuff, you really can't. Fruit from the gods. All right, and here's my, my celery leaves, right? We don't need a lot. I'll just cut them off like herbs. A little broad, they're a little more bitter than a parsley. Great flavor, great with shellfish as well. I use it with mussels and steamers. You'll see more of that coming soon. We gotta do some steamers. You like spicy in? Yeah. All right, let's do one purple mystery Thai chili. <laughs> oh boy, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Just a little bit. Just a little dab will do ya. Look at that, bud. Now we're cooking. Great job. So, got our squid cut up nice, nice. Hit it with a little salt. All right, nice, we'll mix that up. Beautiful, beautiful. A little garlic, all right? Medicinal grade. Look at that big boy. Come on. Cut the little woody nibbin off. And I nip the tip a little. So usually I just crush it, get that Allison party going. But uh, I wanna get little thin little slices. You know, like the good fellas. Paulie did the prep work. Paulie sliced it so thin, it was like he did with a razor blade. It melted in the sauce. It doesn't actually happen, Ray Liola. Ray Liotta. Ray Liotta. So scared of that guy. All right, so I peeled my garlic, and then we're going to slice up our little onion. Peel it first. I nip the little ends off. Okay. I give it a little slice down the side. Just get that little skin off. Classic onion business. Got a color on those. Onions, you gotta love them, huh? Every cuisine has them for a reason, just like garlic. Olive oil, squid. Take our onions, have them, and we'll just do the classic slice against the grain. Like an eighth inch little, little slice. We're not gonna cook them hard, I'm not gonna sweat them out. I don't mind them. These will slice a little thinner. I don't mind them with a little crunch, to be honest. I kinda like it. So, they'll, they'll think, they'll, you know, they'll cook nice, they'll, but maintain some of that nice sulfury, fresh, kind of oniony bite, which I, I really dig. Same with the garlic. Some of it a little chopped up, some of it a little big still. And we're gonna keep that for a second. I'm gonna cook this, I'm gonna add this, the garlic at the last 30 seconds of cooking. Now, this is only gonna take a few minutes, but the garlic does burn quicker than everything else. I like to preheat the pan, and then same with our tomatoes. Let's add those bad boys right in, whole. I'm gonna have a couple of these big ones. Why not, you know? And let's get some of those sun golds. Oh my God, they're so good, like candy. And then our little wild card, a little purple chili. Just a skosh there, Billy. Too bad. Maybe the seeds are like insane. I, I don't know. And we'll add our herbs right at the end. 
All right, but let's prepare. Oh, there's a little heat. I'll chop up some of this beautiful celery leaves and that's gonna be like our parsley. It's also just gonna add a ton of bitter flavor. It's just so hearty and wonderful. Oh yeah, I, oh my God, you smell that? No, of course you can't. But it smells just like the best celery you've ever smelled in your life. If you don't like celery, I don't care. Don't care. All right, into the rock box, baby. More than a pizza oven, I love throwing cast irons in. And we'll hit it with everything right there. Beautiful. And right back in. That's a nice. How do you know when it's done, chef? I have no idea. Okay. No, the squid's gonna cook relatively quickly, like I said. You know, we'll get it to a little bit of a lower temperature than you would think with a pizza oven. Honestly, start to finish, we're talking like four minutes, five minutes. At this point, it's a timing game. I actually turned the oven off for a second so I don't get top heat on the top. I don't want to pick up color yet. Chicken, quiet on set. Oh, she's pecking the garbage can. All right, garlic's going in. Nice. Now we'll go back in and we'll keep an eye on it. Don't go walking away, all right? Rock box produces some heat and you can burn everything real quick, okay? So we're hanging out, like I said, squid, low and slow or fast and hot. Oh yeah, you can see the little tentacles starting to get a little char on them. Yeah, no, we're looking good. All right, back to it. We got our celery leaves already chopped up. I have some purple basil that went to, started to go to flour. I picked a little flour thing off and we're gonna add that right in there. I got a perilla leaf, some other basil leaves, purple and green. We'll give it a little, little rough chiffonade. Same with the perilla. All right, we'll roll it up into a little perilla joint and we'll give it a little jointy chiffonade. Same, we have one blade of sage, not two, one. Yes, it's probably unnecessary, but that looks great. All right, let's give it a little check, a little stir. Oh yeah, oh yeah, bud. Oh yeah, we're getting there now. Oh yeah, and we'll finish it with a little mont a little butter at the end and a little cracked pep. Yum, yum. All right, Ian, you keep an eye on that, make sure it doesn't burn. I'm gonna put this in the dish, in the, in the sink, okay? Keep an eye on it, don't go walking away. Clean as we go on this show, cause we are not, we're making it, but we ain't making a mess, all right? You stick with me, bud. Behind chef, heard chef. Sorry, I'm just busting your chops. All right, coming out, chef, let's take a peek. Oh yeah, that's the color I'm talking about. Now we're gonna hit it with a little bit of butter and then we'll start off with half of the herbs. And I'll mix that butter all around, mix those herbs around. Things are gonna get real nice and saucy. Oh, Brad, you almost forgot. Little black pepper. Tomatoes all ruptured. It's gonna add, a, it makes a nice little creamy little sauce to it. Keeps the garlic from burning. Onions, they wilted down real nice. And then here, boom, you can put this over pasta, put it over rice, put it in a bowl and just eat it, which is what I'm gonna do. You can't beat it, man. Comes together quick, a little weeknight dinner, a little snack, a little whatever you want. A little squid in the rock box, Bradley Oni style. Yeah, wham Obama. She's done, what am I doing? Shut her down. That's it. Finet. Ooh, hit it with the rest of the herbs. Let's go. What are we doing? Never enough. That's not true, but my God, you can do herbs a lot. Kind of an herb junkie, not gonna lie. Ooh, right over rice? Forget it. I'm done. It's all I want. Let's try that little piece right there. She looks good. Hm. Tender. Not rubbery. Tastes like the ocean in the best way. Ooh, I love how saucy the tomatoes and everything, all the onions that kind of melted got. Look at that little bite, buddy. Mm-hmm. Could use a little more heat. We could have went full chili. I wasn't sure. 
When in doubt, dial it back a little, all right? I don't wanna go messing everything up. But this is awesome. Something fast, easy, simple. Play with it, riff on it, have as much fun as you want with it, and use what you can, you know? And don't be scared of herbs, use a lot of them, all right? And get the best garlic you can, get the best seafood you can, and get the, band, the best damn rock box oven you can get out there. All right, Brad Leone with the ramp on it. Nice limited edition green. And let me know what you cook with it, all right? Tag me in a picture and I'll share it. Mmm. It's the mixed herbs with tomato and just good squid, all right? Like I said, hot and fast. You put that in there, you put that in the Gosney in that rock box, 700 degrees. Wham, wham. See you later. Mmm. Oh, it's perfect. We'll see you next week, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Check out the rock box, and remember, the Lord of Death is always watching. Stop. <laughs>